pass along to another local issue, which I know that Yanni will be very keen to lead away on. This concerns uh, the latest City Council performance report, which makes for very sobering reading if you are a City Councillor seeking re-election. Um, according to the latest report, only 34% of us are satisfied with the way Council involves us in their decision making. Now that is down from 45% last year. How low can this go? What should councillors be taking from this, Yanni? Oh, I think without question, the councillors have to recognise that there's a crisis within their own organisation. People's confidence in the council is at an all-time low and they need to take immediate steps to address it. Now, unfortunately, they've left it too late. And people like myself have been saying for the past three years of restructuring, there's a number of things that you need to do to actually address this issue. The first, and in terms of 2021, we are putting out policy to the public to say at the upcoming election we will stand by doing a series of things. First, we'll bring back standing committees. People need to understand the process of local government and standing committees are fundamental to that. Secret portfolio groups do not help people having time to have a debate on important issues and that's why you've seen some of the reverse in decisions because public haven't had an opportunity to be involved. Okay, what else stage. would you do? What else would we do? We would make sure that all votes are recorded. At the moment, if you want to know what your councillor votes on a certain issue, mm. it's a very lengthy process to get that information if it exists at all. So live audio recordings of council and live voting records. The other thing we would do is we would expect councillors to hold local clinics in their local communities and we would also encourage greater working relationships with ECAN so that when we consult we make sure that the public are involved into one process rather than a series of processes around different organisations. Alright, now I do note that 2021's policy that Yanni has just uh, referred to is titled Democracy and Listening Policy. Is, is it an indictment on local body politics that we need to have a political group in coming up with a listening policy? David? Yes, indeed. <laughs> and I, I was interested in listening to what Yanni was proposing, that uh, all the things he's suggesting are things that Parliament does already. Uh, standing committees, the, the select committees, yeah. uh, all the rest, very accountable. It makes Parliament seem good by comparison, doesn't it? <laughs> Despite some of the behaviour in the House this week. Oh, I haven't heard about that. I've really? Been oh. oh, count well. yourself lucky. <laughs> what do you think of 2021's approach to this? Oh, well, I think it's about time. I mean, the uh, council's failed. It's got, a, it's got a D on its report card, probably an E, in fact. And uh, the time has come where I think there's going to be a bit of change uh, because people are just clearly not satisfied with what's going on. And this 2021 policy, um, you know, the listening and democracy policy, it's about time. I mean, and I think David's right, what on earth were they doing before? What has council been doing to date? It's crazy that we have to say we'll disclose uh, council voting. We'll disclose what goes on in these meetings. The very idea that it hasn't been happening to date is frankly astounding.